Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Manx, and I welcome you guys to part, I think it's 39, I just checked five, five seconds ago, I think it's part 39 of Let's Play Fire Emblem Awakening. Fire Emblem Awakening. And then are you here? What? You're supposed to follow up with, with a witty comment when I pause like that. You gotta, you gotta learn, man. What? Also, what the fuck? Uh, this is not the save I wanted to load. <laughs> Ain't that interesting. <laughs> that is an old save. This is the Sever chapter. Oh yeah, uh, by the way, Antonin. Mm? You haven't been with us for some time now. I decided to use Severa because I am a shameless idiot who goes back on my word. Because <sighs> pigtails and cute. And I needed a I hero. I was going to assume boobs, but that's true. Wait a minute, what the hell? Chapter 23, Invisible Ties. There we go. I mean, how can I not use Severa? I mean, come on. Jesus, uh, there's a lot of shit one, happening right now. Oh my don't god. Don't use her. Step two. Dot, dot, dot. Step three. Profit. What? Severa is awesome. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, no. Are those like piss easy, Ryzen? Probably, at this point. Yeah, anyway. Because, you know, the Ryzen scale based on what chapter they are on. Uh, yeah, that is... No, don't, don't they, um, don't they get, uh, powerful depending on where, when they spawn? No, they get... It's <laughs> the location where they I'd love to go they... to bed if you can join me, Severa. <laughs> oh, oh my god. god. The Severa Mang supports are so dirty, I fucking love them. She calls me daddy and wants me to buy her stuff. It's so fucking amazing. She's like, Daddy, buy me this. And I'm like, no, Severa, you have to work for it. And she's like, oh, what do you want me to do? And it's like, you need to work harder for your things, Severa. And she's like, oh, Daddy, buy me a dress. Ooh. It's so fucking dirty. I love it. See, I wonder why there's so much goddamn incest hentai of this game. <laughs> oh, my God. I think someone's seriously going to get super pissed from all the incest jokes. Like, literally. Which is why I've started including, well, like, a warning. you know, in all fairness, I would assume they get more annoyed by Basilius' voice first. <laughs> what? What's that, nigga? <laughs> I actually haven't gotten many complaints about the Basilius' voice. Anyway, it's time to go fight Garnef. Are you ready, Manx? Yeah, Chrome, first, I have a favor to ask. As long as it's not a request to leave you behind. Hey, you can't bench, Manx. It, it's not, though. I did consider it. I can't hurt you if I'm not there in the first place, but I can't run from Valadar forever. And if I'm going to overcome him, my best chance is, is with you by my side and not oil cockstalking! What does he mean he can run from Valadar forever? Step one, let Crumb kill him. Step, step two, you have run away from him. Yeah, you see, PC. Mm. That's more like it. But therein lies the favor. If Valadar somehow does get control over me, promise me. Promise me you'll cut me down. You can't mean that. You can't ask that. I will resist him with all that I am. I promise you. But there are other people involved here. Too many people to ignore. You have a duty to protect them as well. You're right. The words burn my tongue, but you're right. But you mustn't let Valadar seize control. Whatever it takes. Whatever the cost. I'll try. I am your friend before I'm a prince. I will not kill you. Ah, uh, come here. Let the cock stroking begin. I'll try. You know I will. Oh dear. Okay. Evil place. I do like Very the music evil. though. Much dangers. Hello, Garnef. How are you today? Garnef! <laughs> Grom, come to witness the glorious culmination of your failure. How nice. I have the fire emblem and the dragon's table is set for a feast. I will return Grima to this world. And then I'm going to get fucked. <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna get so fucked, man. You'll destroy the world. Lucina has seen it. Then I pray today's spectacle lives up to her nightmares. The Awakening Rite is not only for Exalts and Naga, you know. With it, I'll arouse Grima. He's, he's going to arouse what? Grima. <laughs> you dragon fucker. <laughs> the fell, he's going to use Tiki. <laughs> the fell dragon needs only a mortal vessel, which you so kindly brought along. Why are you telling him this? Oh god, he means me. You keen quickly, Manx. That's my boy. No, never. I'll die first. You carry my blood. 
the blood of the fell dragon. Wait, isn't Severa Validar's granddaughter? And Morgan. Oh, well, we can just use Morgan and, and Severa instead. That's awesome. Now that I think of it, I haven't played it, but I think there's like a DLC where you go to the Rusina's future and there's like evil Morgan as a boss. Ah, that sounds cool. So that raises the question, how are we ever gonna defeat the Grima bloodline if we are just going to make Grima bloodline babies? Uh, that's a good question actually. His soul slumbers within you, and now the time has come to awaken you both. Alright, whatever you say. What? What? I'm Grima? <coughs> I'm the Fell Dragon? The Grimlull has worked for generations to create someone like you, a vessel worthy of our master. Simply having Grima's blood in your veins is not enough. My father was not worthy, nor was my father before him. Even I was not as able to accept Grima's most sacred gift. But you, you had all the makings. You were perfection. No! So they are doing the thing they did in Fire Emblem 4. Again. Pretty much. So that means a lot of cousins plowing their tails. Pretty much. If oh your God. damnable mother hadn't been seized by weakness and fear, she betrayed us, stole you from your crib, and fled with you in the night. I know not but your life thereafter, but all that matters is your return. What you are here is proof that your purpose, it is why you still draw breath. You've proven nothing but your own madness. This can be stopped. You can be stopped. You may have killed me in some future past, but I am stronger this time. With the power of the Dragon's Table flowing through me, I am unstoppable! You're not the only one stronger this time, right, Manx? Manx? Ugh. Oh, way to ruin the mood. Stay with me, Manx! You're not beholden to this fiend, you can fight it. We've seen how strong you are, we've seen what you're capable of. Yeah, that rally spectrum sure is a spectacle. Don't oh. let him shake your soul! Chrome, I, I, I don't know. Enough. This story display ill befits the ear to our master's power. And you, Prince, your sad poem sounds lovely, but it will not alter destiny. There are more than just words. But still now, my son. My life did not begin with you. It began the day Chrome found me in that field. I have been all over this world, and I have helped change it for the better. I have fought, fought and laughed and bled with my friends, and that is all that matters. The ties we forge, the bonds we share, they are a power greater than Grima. Yeah, supports are really strong, Manx. A ludicrous yes. idea, as you will know better than anyone soon enough. We do agree on one thing. My life so far has been all in preparation for this moment. When I kill you, or die trying. <laughs> you have your father's courage, but your mother's judgment. Very well, pup. Come, do your worst. Come at me with all you have. There is no damage I can do to your body that a fell dragon cannot repair. Alright. Plot wall! Huh. Let's see, uh, okay, we got everyone so, not So, basically what they're saying is the world will be saved every single time Manx has died because of a game over. Pretty much. Ain't that sad. That is actually kind of sad. Uh, alright, uh, everyone seems to be, I think everyone's properly equipped to deal with this trap. So, for once you made a proper choice when you made a fucking master ceiling. Yeah, and I've decided I'm going to use the second seal just to level Tiki down to level 1, because uh, being max level is boring. Why not just make her a dragon on top of a dragon? No. That would be using second seals. We don't want to be using second seals, right? You're literally using second seal at this very moment. Yeah, but just to reset our experience. Ooh. I'm just gonna reset my character to level 1, so now he can be even more OP. Yeah, but it, it sucks to be max level. Nobody mm -hmm. likes being max level. Also, I have an energy drop. Who should I give that to? Um, well... Donald? <laughs> I think Longku, actually. His strength is kind of low compared to the rest of my team. Oh, you no. should totally give it to, you know, Taria. Taria? Why? So she can attack okay. with her bronze sword? Yeah. You know, can't you give me good advice? That's why I brought uh -huh. you along. What? I got you through the stupid tree. That is true. Um, and nothing has been quite as difficult ever since. Um, well, yeah, because you learned how to play this game. Well, I learned how to open a box full of loot, for once. And you learned how to use Henry. I learned that Henry can solo an entire map. Pretty awesome. Which reminds us, it brings us to the question, why do you even bring anyone else in this lower house than Henry? 
That is a good question, actually. I guess it's because I want to use them. Yeah. Then again, what I did here is was I just soloed with Gaius. Really? I was bored at that rune. I just wanted it to end. <laughs> this is it. Our final battle. You're one of us, Manx. And no destiny can change that. Now let's kill this dastard and be done with it. He's Alvis, apparently. I so, bet you made that joke like every single time this scene plays. Yeah, I did. So long as the dark barrier stands, no other soul can reach us. You must face your grim fate alone. Alright, so... This chapter is fun. Uh, there's a lot of enemies here. Luckily, we have a lot of defensive terrain here, so that's good. Uh, but I yeah, I'm going to show you... those maps where it's total pitch, you know, to play at 0% growth. Like the Black Knight. I, I, are there any Awakening 0% growth let's plays on YouTube? I haven't seen any. Of course not. It's fucking impossible to hack. Yeah, not to mention probably impossible to pull off as well. Anyway, here, take a look uh -huh. at your love child. Well... She's pretty she's good, actually. She's been working out. She has been definitely working out. Now she can also rally skill. Yay. Um, she's a lot better than Gregor, that's for sure. Um, and you told me something about being better than Donal. Um, not perhaps better than Donal yet, but she mm. is she is getting there. Um, yep. And of course, lovely pigtails. Look at her. Oh, she's so good. She could have had Rally Speed and Rally Spectrum as a single skill, but yeah. I was like, no, self-healing is so much better. Burr, 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 burr. So, tell me again how, you know, having good growth is the best you can be at this game. Tell uh -huh. me again how Donnell is good. I don't know, isn't good. <laughs> he sucks. Exactly. He's like one of the worst characters. He has good growth. Oh, yeah, he's terrible. Everyone. Absolutely terrible. Alright. Everyone's properly rallied up. So let's start by... I was like, oh, I should send Henry over here, but it's like, bitch, please, Henry does not need terrain to be good. <laughs> but yeah, I should probably try to take down... Oh, no, Nosferatu. I think I'm gonna... Ooh, like, by the way, every every single enemy in the game now... This is something I've been wanting to ask you. Look, every single enemy has forged weapons right now. I can't remember that every single enemy in the game has forged weapons on hard mode. I am wondering if the game does this because I have um, leveled up so much. Do you think that when you have high-level characters, or when you play a lot of side quests, that the that the game starts throwing forged weapons at mm. you to scale the difficulty? Because every single map has enemies with forged weapons. Every single weapon is forged. This seems I'm weird. going to go with... I can possibly notice, because... No? The game is fucking impossible to check for these kind of things. Yeah, but I s strictly remember the last time I played on hard mode, that enemies did not have forged weapons, and now all of them have forged weapons. It seems very strange. And the forged weapons started to show up more and more frequently as I did the side quests. Mm. You co you commented on it first time they started showing up. They were like, oh, look, forged weapons. And they were like one or two. And now they're fucking everywhere. It's just really weird. Hell yeah. I honestly can't say anything about this because it's awakening. Yeah. You can't really know about it like the other games because... Yeah, I guess. Well, I guess. Anyway, we need to focus on... Why should I use anything but a hand axe? That's the question, really. Yeah. Uh, focus down the Bolgalon made this. But yeah, this this map is actually kind of hard. I also lost Libra. <laughs> Libra died. I brought Rila. That oh. was only a question of time. No. Really. Whatever will you do? Oh, uh, you know. Oh, yes. Good. Got an arc fire. I think uh, Longku can probably... Let's see. Amatsu. Can he... Can't kill this guy, I'm afraid. Man, that thing has shit hit rate. He does have really shit hit rate, that's true. But if he hits, he does heal up, but... Come on, crits. He can proc Astra, though, I guess. Uh -huh. But he didn't, because he's long. This is so ever so good. I can miss more now. Also, we gotta be careful not to not use... I don't know why Henry has a Forsetti equipped. I think it was to counter some flyers. So the question is, does he even need a Nosferatu anymore? Yeah, he does. Almost not. He's... Well, he, 32 defense. It's pretty good, actually. All right. Well, uh, you know, that's more than a general in a GBA game. Yep. <laughs> Talk about stat inflation. Oh! Like a cupcake. Aha! A candy joke. <laughs> candy. <laughs> candy. candy. He likes sugar. <laughs> hey, I like my candy too. 
Yeah, Man, kind of I is good. Alright, so if we can take down these guys, then that should be simple. I'm pretty sure Lucina can do it. Lucina is, like, fucking amazing right now. Like, look at her. She's so fucking good right now. It's ridiculous how good she is. Well, of course, she had the second seal. Yeah, but, like, lol. What the fuck? And she procs ever, like, there's no fucking tomorrow. Just heals well, herself up. she have, like, something like 30 skill at this point? Something, like, yeah, 33. Hit yeah, she has so. like, what, 50% proc rate on Aether. It's ridiculous, really. Yeah. Alright, uh, Churchy can probably kill this guy. Let's see, killer. Let's, can we kill him with the Bronze Lance? No, we cannot. Still oh, wow, out. that has some pretty nice crit on it. Ooh, 38%. No, it's gonna do 45 damage if it crits. Oh, unless they have Vengeance. No, I don't think they do. Mm, and their hit rate is shit anyway. Ah, Ruin is a pretty garbage tome. I don't know why I called it good the first time uh, it popped up. Remember that? Well, you know, as long as your own hit rate, I mean, skill is good enough, it's pretty fun. Yeah, it's it's like a killer tome, I guess. It's, yeah. it's not horrible. But... Of course, in Fates, killer weapons get insane. Ah, let's not talk about Fates. It's gonna, yeah. it's gonna cause people... Although... Mm, I'm thinking maybe when this episode gets released, Fates is gonna be close to coming out. Nah, probably not. Yeah. I mean, I'm personally one of those who never bothers with, you know, gameplay spoilers. Yeah, we can talk about, like, very general like, game know, things. things like, you know, how, what kind of weapons the killer weapons are in that game. I don't really care about being spoiled about something like that. Yeah, I guess. But that like, being said, if we, people get busy, I want... Why doesn't she have staves? Oh my god, why doesn't she have... Weapons? Oh my god, she doesn't have anything. And the convoy is with Chrome. Fuck! What the <laughs> hell? I guess I must have unequipped it, like, oh, she can get the men's staff at the very least, but fuck, no, 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 she can't, yeah, oh my she's god. just not gonna do anything, I see. Oh my god. And again, it's not like she's gonna die because she has, like, 34 speed or something stupid like that. That is true. Oh my god, I could almost kill Valadar on the first turn with Manx, although he doesn't really do anything. Well, fuck, well, at least I can get, uh, physics staff. Oh, she, fuck, she can't use physics staffs? What the hell? At least well, you get... know, you have actually have to train that weapon rank before you can use it. That is true. I have healed a lot with Ana, though. Maybe not as much as and I should. And she's almost got a one rank of it. Almost. Guys can use men's staves at the very least now, so that's good. Oh, Jesus, Cordelia. Ow! Well, Forged weapons are nasty. Ah. 30 attack. Damage, I mean. I mean, the... Oh, Worm Slayer. I should probably check the weapons, shouldn't I? Yeah, I mean, forced effective weapons. What could go wrong? <laughs> I'm not sure exactly how much they're forged. I think that, according to the wiki, they're, they're, they come in terms of 4 might and 10 hits. So, for every, every time they're forged, they get 4 might and 10 hit on them. So you can have double forged, or triple forged, or quadruple forged. Mm, that means... I should probably play more Lunatic Awakening. It seems like fun with this. Yeah, but I think that most of these weapons are just single forged, so they're yeah. just uh, so they're just plus four might plus ten hit. But that's still pretty fucking ridiculous with effective weapons, because that essentially yeah. means they do twelve extra damage. Yeah. Just so from the course, forging alone. If you play with dual strikes, it doesn't matter at all. Why? Well, they're gonna have like ten percent hit rate at the best. That's true. That's true. And Rally Spectrum is a thing too. Oh fuck. Oh dear. Speaking of effective weapons. Ow. Jesus. What? Okay, seriously, why did we bring anyone but Henry? Uh, I ask myself that often. Uh, let's see, why didn't I bring any hammers? That's, that's what I want to know. Because they're generals. They die like nothing. That is true, but still. Alright, Jesus Christ. Okay, we gotta heal up Cordelia. Yeah. Do, 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 do. And then we gotta heal up Churchy. I don't think we're gonna get... Oh, crap. We don't... Fuck. Could've just, just used the... Four... I can be physics. I don't have that many injured people. Lissa is actually doing a crazy amount of damage now. She has Tome Fair. Yeah. It, it points magic skills. But 36 magic is pretty nice. Uh-huh. Especially with the rally. Oh yeah, definitely. 
Also, I was not aware Tiki could attack at 2 range. That's ridiculously broken. <laughs> uh -huh. I was like, I thought mana kits were limited to 1 range in this game. That would be fair. I mean, Tank Elsa? Mana kits suck in this game. Why? Because you can forge dragon stones. You can't? Yeah. Oh, well that sucks. So you know, they are pretty good in the main, main game, but when you get to the late game and start to see who's really broken and who's not, yeah. you just kind of reclass your mana kits away from mana kit. I see, I see. Well, Tiki is still good, I guess. And she's good against dragons, so that's something. Although mm -hmm. there aren't that many dragons in this game. Yeah. Oh, and fine. you know, the funny thing is, no matter what she reclasses in, she will be weak to worm slayers. Uh, yeah, she will. Mm. So she won't change her type. Well, that's good, I guess. It makes sense. Well, yeah, of course, that's pitch for yarn and such. Oh, I see. I mean, Oops. imagine, you know, Wyvern Rider Pan. That's <laughs> just fun. She's weak to flying, she's weak to worm slayer, she's weak to beast killer. But at least it's not like, uh, at least it's not like in Pokemon where you get like multiple weaknesses. I mean, weakness on top of weakness. Yeah, no. but like you don't get That's double not... weaknesses. Yeah, nine times damage. Ouch. That would be fun. All right, uh, I need to heal churches some more, I think. Um, let's see, this guy needs to die. Maybe Severa can kill him. I she can. She can. Oh, look how fucking sexy she is. Look, look how sexy she is. Oh my god. Look at that. I swear, Severa is like my uh, new waifu. I don't, I don't give a shit if she's my daughter. Really, you know, what has Fire Emblem 4 taught us? That everyone can be waifus? No. Well, the theoretically, yeah. Kids get from doing your sister. <laughs> of course. Nothing bad can happen from incest, uh, right? It's not like, you know, do, by doing your sister you create a Dark Lord or something. No, no, no. Of course not. Ow! Fucking hell. Wait, is that game actually kind of totally an argument against incest? If you make babies with your sister, you will create Dark Lord that will destroy everything. <laughs> but then again, if you practice incest, uh, you also create awesome children. Yeah, because they have, like, major holy blood. Yeah. I'm starting to think we should change our subject and quick. Probably, yeah. Or not, we could nah. just keep talking about it. I mean, it's Fire Emblem. If you don't know what incest is, then you play Fire Emblem. You're playing the wrong game. We just call it Incest Emblem, really. Mm-hmm. Anyway, uh... we'll see now why you not kill this guy. You challenge your fates, come on. Challenge your fate. Me, challenge you know. your fate. Challenge your fate. Yes! <laughs> she said it! She said it! She said challenge my fate! <laughs> oh, she even, she even delivered the specific critical quote I was asking for. That's my girl right there. Love you. So, how much has Manx been tipping the scales? Uh, very little, actually. Surprisingly lack of tipping the scales. Mm. Look, I have the game board. Now I suddenly, you know... Think of, you know, that stupid meme about tipping the scales. Oh crap, this guy doesn't have counter, does he? He didn't have it the last time he attacked. Oh, does counter proc all the time? Of course. Oh. That's why it's OP. How, what enemies. does it do again? Uh, half the damage you take go right back to any, to, you know, opponent. Oh, always? Yep. That's pretty good. And funny thing is, if you proc lethality on, you know, an on an opponent with Miracle and Counter. Yeah. It doesn't matter how much HP you have, you're dead. Really? Because you know, they proc Miracle on your lethality, they will kill you with Counter. <laughs> Interesting. Oh yeah. Alright. Oh no, Henry does not double. What is this shit? Well, what do you Henry. mean no double? I do not understand. I gotta say though, um, the Nosferatu Tome is an example of why weights should not be removed from the game. Uh -huh. Because when weight I is mean, removed, tomes like Nosferatu becomes incredible. Nah, uh, I think Nosferatu became incredible at the moment you would buy them for no op issue at all. Yeah. Oh my god, Valadar is so bad. Why would you do that? Alright, oh, you kill Valadar anyway. Yeah, he is pretty weak, but he is not. A, it's not his final form. 
<laughs> Are you so eager to meet your end, little prince? You will die here. Your future is already written. I'll tell you <clears> again. I'll make my own future, and it's one you'll not live to see. Because this is not his final form. This is like stage one, Validar. I think that I could run if he gets the stupid dragon skin skill. Yeah, I think he has it now, too. <laughs> Even this was meant to be. Isn't it like only on that one guy in the one map in this game? I'm in mode. Rip and pepperonis. And guard! How does yeah. that how does that save him? Did you see the size of that thing? I don't know. That reminds me of, you know, this one webcomic I read once. <laughs> it felt like, you know, Kellam just taking like a million hits and just going tink 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 tink. And then Virion jumped in front of him. Guard and he died. Wow, well, we are paying we are paying so much attention to the plots. But we are paying so much attention to the plots right now. <gasps> oh look, Chrome well, died. To be fair, we have seen this scene like a million times. By that's now. that's true. This is the introduction. I have no idea how many times I saw that when I was struggling with the first map of Lunatic. Doesn't it? Doesn't it add you? Add um. Doesn't this uh? Doesn't this add something? No, actually, it doesn't. Did you just get a cutscene at the end of it? What? <laughs> So, uh -huh. the next scene makes no fucking sense. Oh yeah, like most of Awakening's plots. Gina, how are you on this, this side of barrier? Yeah, how did you get here? You hacker? No! Father, no! With the five gemstones in hand, my magic knows no bounds. Mangus is powerless to resist me. Do you see now, son? Human bombs are leaves in the wind. They offer you nothing. This can't be happening. We were supposed to change this. Everything I have done is worthless. The hell it was. Huh? I know that voice. Oh no, it's Basilio! Mm. Move Someone away, fools! Basilio. Don't put, you, put any stock in this destiny hogwash. Let the dead whine about their fate. As long as I draw breath, I choose to keep fighting. That's what life's all about, nigga. Come, Basilio. I thought... We all thought you were... Warm food back in Warm? I almost went that way, but I scraped by thanks to you. I don't understand. Once I took a couple of hits from Walmart, I knew he was too strong for me. Normally Pride would have had me dead, but before I even thought twice about it. But your warning gave me courage to be a coward. <laughs> I played dead like a big bald opossum. I wasn't hard. In truth, I was almost... <laughs> I almost <coughs> was dead. You saved my life, Lucina. Had you not said anything, I'd have stood my ground against that monster and died on the spot. You took a 90 damage crit on one health. A 90 yeah. damage crit on one health. Nobody Pretty can sure die that in this even game. if Walmart didn't finish you off, you would be bleeding to death before anyone would find you. Well, this is Awakening. This is the game where Emerin can plunge 100 feet and still be a DLC character, so I guess... Uh. Well, explain to me one thing. What? She plunges into her death in Plagia, in the middle of a fucking desert, and you find her on a little island on the other side of the fucking ocean. And she just wandered, I guess. I don't know. Through her fucking ocean. <laughs> oh, Basilio. This does not matter. If you don't didn't die here, then you can die here. Ha, <laughs> nigga. You're no Walmart snake eyes. Not as strong or even as clever. For example, you still haven't realized that you've been tricked. What? Basilio, don't ruin the surprise. What? Manx predicted everything that would happen here. He saw it in a dream. Saw this very fight with you. If you think. Guess what else was in the dream? The five gemstones, nigga! When Flavia gave my stone to Krom, Manx saw what fate had in store. He knew Krom couldn't bring the real gemstones here to play again. That would be like swinging a big juicy steak right in front of Destiny's Choppers. How <laughs> worthy bluff, Roxy fool, but ridiculous all the same. I've had your mother little band watch since Carrion Isle, you have your every move. So I know Manx haven't touched the stones, he hasn't even been near them. You watch our party, yes, the members your men knew about, the live ones. But they weren't watching dead men, were they? They weren't watching me. I know, that's not... 
Yeah, <laughs> looks like it might be finally starting to sink in. Why are we standing here explaining our plans to the evil guy? Why? That reminds me. I why? Like just like give me the... one good reason why Basilio is standing here and explaining this to Validar. Why? What do we get out of this? What What does he get out of this? Gl bragging rights? Why? Like, this is just another example of Awakening's writing being written for the viewer, not for the characters themselves, and that's why it seems so off. What do they give a shit if Validar knows their plans or not? Kill him! Be done well, with it! Well, you know, the last 30 seconds, I cannot hear shit because of internet connection, so you have to repeat that. Ah, uh, basically, Basilio is just standing there and explaining everything to Validar. Yeah, that makes so much sense. I mean, why? <laughs> anyway. Because this is shown in anime. That's true. That's not possible. They have to be. They must be. Why? Because of destiny? <laughs> you little fool, nigga. Max said your destiny beat days ago when he came up with this plan. Oh, I am such a good tactician. I can beat destiny. Lovely. The expression on your face. It all makes those long nights in hiding worth it. Ha! Damn you. Damn you all to the hells. None of this matters. Chrome is dead. Your fate sealed. Grima will... Eh? How does Chrome dying matter at all? We have Lucina. Haha. <laughs> Thoron crit. Tipping the scales. Ha -ha. By the way, this scene is pretty funny when your avatar is a fucking sportmaster. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. No! Father, you're alive! Manx spared me. He weakened his magic just before the strike. I have to explain this to the audience, you see. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and that explains the fucking Krima voice in his head. <laughs> Damn you all and your stones. <laughs> yeah, our stones. <laughs> I won't need them to kill you. Ready to end this, Manx? Kill him! He's he's right there! Cut his head off! God fucking damn it! Let's do it. Well, it's shown, and you must gloat over your opponent for at least five minutes. Oh, Jesus, so he's standing right the there. Chop his motherfucking head off. Have you not watched Dragon Ball? I have. I'm you ready to see you. Yeah. Your power, then I can kill you. I'm ready to see you. you must kill yourself with your own attack. Uh, spoiler. Uh, I'm ready to see what our true future has in store. We will now, together. And now, of course, we're giving Valid our time to warp away. The, the wall plots, the plot of, plot of armor, or plot wall goes away. And we get Basilia and Flavia. Crow Max, we're yours to command. Let's put this daster down for good this time. Alright, so we, I'm, we're gonna let Mr. Antonan give his opinions on these guys. So first, what do you think about Basilio? Uh, he's a warrior. He can do rally strength. That's pretty cool. I oh, like Basilio. Yeah. He is cool. Yay. 25 speed, get the fuck out of my face. As in that's bad? Well, uh, it's pretty low by this point. Yeah, I guess. So seal. Uh, I mean, in any other game, you got a warrior with 25 speed and you would be like, oh god, yes. Yeah, that's true. But for Awakening, it's pretty crap. Mm -hmm. It's All just, right. you know, Basilio, he comes so late, I can never be arsed to train him. That's true. Alright, what do you think about Flavor Flav? Uh, she's a hero, she has high stats. She's a nice filler. Yeah, she's kind of like uh, Echidna from Fire Emblem 6. Yeah. She has like, what, 50% chance to get her arms stripped, that's pretty nice. Uh, yeah. That is that is true. I never see it proc on Severa, but I think it's because Soul procs instead. Well, it never says the proc. It oh, just it doesn't. happens. Oh, okay. That's good to know. Because, I guess. you know, it has... By the late game, it has like 100% proc rate, so... It will be fucking annoying. No. Not much like Vengeance, eh? Well, at least Basilio has a hammer. That's mm. gonna be useful. <clears throat> And now the goddamn epic rap battle of history with Julius Caesar and Chaka Zulu is playing in my head. Thank you. Oh, that is so good. When oh. I go against you, I go hammer. <laughs> like boom shakalaka. <laughs> Rapping me in your soul. Banner. I've seen, I've seen it all play. Tell me, how does it end? All right, you get stabbed many times by your friends. <laughs> it's, it's probably one of the best ones. Oh my actually. god, he's doubled. Oh no. Doesn't matter. As long as these guys don't have Lothalothy, I'm good. 
even if they did you, they wouldn't give a shit. Ah, if they proc'd it, it would be kind of bad, but... Do you have any idea what this proc rate is? What? It's your skill. Yeah? Fourth of it. Oh, fourth of your skill. Jesus, that's really low. Yeah, so these guys would have what? Less than... Mm. Less than 10% chance to proc it. Mang's speed is fucking awful. Just like to point oh, that God. out. Oh god, fucking Basilio. Almost Basilio doubles. Basilio is faster, what the hell? Flavia doubles Mang's. She does, Jesus. Alright, well... We've cleared up oh, most I of the I let you double me all night long. <laughs> uh, I've... I oh don't... wait, you're not my daughter. Ew. Yeah, ugh. Don't want that shit, sorry. I do He's love that the He's coming from the guy who made a baby with fucking Cordelia. <laughs> What then have again, we... Oh! Look, so... Alps Blade. You know, weapons from a Gaiden shouldn't have durability. Should just be unbreakable, don't you think? Also, I'd like to point out that uh, Alps Blade is fucking trash. To be fair, it's just a better silver sword. Yeah, but it's 10 fucking uses, though. Yeah, it's a better silver sword with less uses. 10. That's just like, you know, Ines Bow that you were hyping just a moment ago. That is true. But quiet, right? So, anyway. Uh, might as well rally since we don't have anything better to do. Is this the classic because shut up? Yes. Okay, I will shut up. But you can keep talking. Nah. You shut up, but there's really no point in bringing you along, is there? You're just gonna sit there and watch. Mm. Uh, let's see, yeah. Uh... Uh, oh, fuck. Mm. Just force. Oh, wait, don't use your force setting. No, I'm not gonna use that. But you know, you probably could just use something else than Nosfera to just so you could get some more wing gas damage. That is true, actually. But they I. Could just Henry have like something stupid, like. I don't know. At least 37 defense or something like that. Yeah. So, yeah, he doesn't really die, but still. Uh, yes, every like time what? I. Every yes, single... about. Hmm? Almost 80% proc rate on his vengeance. It's just that every single time I unequip his goddamn um, tome, he comes close to dying. Every single and time. And then he's at low health, and then he can, like, Nosferatu for 100 damage. True, true. Because, um... you know, he has vengeance. Almost dying. Oh, crap, that 1% crit, though. So what? I won't kill her, I think. 17 times 3 is what? I don't know. Oh god, you're hopeless. <laughs> you should know this by now. <laughs> really. That's... That's like 1 plus 1 is 2. Okay, what is 17 times 3? Let me hear. 17 times 3 is 45 three. plus 6, so that's 51. Oh, aren't you cool? Let's see... Uh... I can do basic math. <laughs> <laughs> Let's use muscle on flavor, shall we? For sure, this map. why not? Pretty good. What are even their critical quotes? Really? Uh, what? What What are their critical quotes? I don't even know. Critical what? Quotes. Quotes? I have no idea. I think... Like, what does Basilio say when he crits? Basilio, when he crits uh, Walmart, he says, don't try this at home. <laughs> Which is actually kind of hilarious. Time what? to face Maker! Oh dear. Hit points, well, I suppose speed. I'm getting more and more immune to your Basilio voice because I've been watching some boom dogs again. <laughs> oh my god, what the hell? Like uh, damn. It just doesn't feel the same after you watched an entire episode about Nika moment. What? Nika moment. Alright. Do you not know what's a Nika moment? No. It's when perfectly reasonable Afro-American male goes into better grades and kills somebody else, aka acting like a nigga. Ah, I see, I see. And that's on TV. Huh. Goodness gracious. Alright, I have to kill the bow assassins, uh, or else Churchy dies. But that's fine. Does she now? Uh, she can take one hit, I think, but I prefer her not to. Also, Ooh, I'm... <laughs> killing it. Zero attack, zero crit. Lovely. Zero crit, actually. That's, yeah. 
That is lovely. Mm-hmm. Do, do, I do expect bullshit spawns to come up anytime now, though. Oh, that guy can crit. Oh, wait, hurry up. Oops. Oh, he can fucking see. hell. That would have been devastating, too. 90 yep. damage. Hit points, strength, magic, skill, speed, luck. Yeah, Tara's luck is awful. Oh, life taker. What's that? It's bad. When attacking, restores... Oh, that's, that's not bad. Yes, what? it is. How's that bad? Because she could be using Nosferatu at this point. <laughs> that is... Does it snack with Nosferatu, though? How the hell do you... are you not at max HP when you use Nosferatu? That is true. Yeah, I guess, guess you got a point. But it's still. just like, you know, there you go. You are no more a sorcerer. You can now get this weak ass, lame ass, fake Nosferatu. Yeah, I guess. And the worst thing is, it doesn't work on enemy face. Yay, she gets these physics types now. Lovely. Yeah. It is good, okay? It's whatever. You're so negative. Let's see, uh, uh... How many years have I been subscribed to you? <laughs> uh, four, I think? What? It has been like a month now. Well, that doesn't count. Oh, what the fuck? Oh my... Are you so, did we win now because Wilder <laughs> can make his Dark Dragon now? Are you fucking kidding me right now? We won. Manx is dead. No more Dark Dragons. Somebody go and kill Severa and Morgan. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Why is, is it this... game over? We stopped the evil plan. Are you shitting me right now?